All right, back for another video on something called lifelong learning. So before we jump in, right, grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen or throw it in your notes and your phone or somewhere where you can capture stuff, right? And here's just lesson one. I'm just going to dive in. I'm, this is going to be more of a rant. Sometimes my videos are a bit more organized. I got to just rant on this one because this is some critical information. If you want your life to get better, if you don't want your life to get better, you probably won't like anything on my YouTube. But if you do like this kind of stuff, this is some cutting edge information. Right, I go all out, like I don't hold back. And so let's dive in together, all right? Let's go in the deep end. So one, if you don't have notes or some systematic way to take in information and hold it for yourself, you're in trouble because your mind can only handle so much. Like you ever have on your computer way too many tabs open or you look at the Safari icon or whatever you use for your internet browser on your phone and you got like tabs for days, right? Dude, when's the last time you cleaned that up? <laughs> You know, and that's a little bit less important is the fact that do you have a system that you trust? Because lifelong learning is critical. The people that I know that make the most money and obviously also the people in the world that are in more the public spotlight, like, like a Warren Buffett or a Charlie Munger or Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos, those guys, they're constantly absorbing the most information that's practical to where they're trying to get to, okay? So that's one part of this is, do you have a system for even taking in information? Okay. Now two is, do you have time of day that you do this, right? Lifelong learning. Like wh why are you even lifelong learning? Do you want to be a lifelong learner? What does that even mean? Is it enough to just read books? Is it enough to just take notes? Is it enough to just try and feel good that you're like, Oh, I'd like to learn. It's like, no, it's not <laughs> real learn. Real learning equals change. I would write that down for yourself. Learn equals change. Okay. So another way of saying this would be throughout your whole life, on and on and on and on you're changing you're evolving you're adapting to the point where it's obvious to other people there's not enough to just feel like you're changing because guess what your feelings are relevant compared to reality and so let's now look at what we can do in terms of getting you to the point where you can now really really be a lifelong learner and be unleashed okay so um let's let's look at this so over the past few years, I've been really heavy into like sales and business. Like that's been my main thing I've been looking at, but it's like specific part of the business. It's generating revenue, like getting money to go higher and higher and higher every month. It's been very fun, right? I had and um, I built the e-commerce and then I realized e-commerce is not the best thing to be building. Then I built my techno Twitter business. I became really dang good at selling like one-on-one -on -one and group selling really good at it. But now, right, as lifelong learning, it's like what got you here isn't what get, what's going to get you to that next level. Let me repeat that because that's really worthy of, of, of uh, saying again is what got you here to today, the day you're listening to this, whether it's real time, the week I release this or years from now, still going to be true. What got you to this level that you're at on today is not the same stuff that's going to allow you to get to that next level. So you're going to have to learn and change and adapt in new ways. Pretty obvious, but are you living that difference? So for me now, my next phase that I'm going into is business ownership and really stepping into the spotlight. Like I've made videos. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube. I make a ton of content on Instagram. I'm about to go 10 X on this because I see that the world is desperately hungry and craving for realness. Real people really building business on the front lines, going to make it happen. Yet at the same time, I am learning now how to really stay in my area of genius. Like my ability to stay in the zone at what I can do best. Like I cannot delegate or outsource my content. No one else can stand in front of the screen. I don't have a deep fake. Right? I, don't, I don't have AI that's helping me write these um uh, topics of conversation. It's just me speaking from real practical experience and realizing that over time I've programmed myself and developed myself to be pretty good at talking and I can get a point across and I can simplify things that a lot of other people see as complex or mystical. Really, I can just put it in plain words. And so now I see that I'm able to build my organization and my business and my life so that I can be at a point where I'm not bogged down by all the nitty gritty stuff I can do what's in my zone of genius and I can build systems for other people where it's their zone of genius to actually get the other stuff done, right? Pretty cool stuff. So as a lifelong learner, right? I see that that's going to keep evolving over the next five, 10, 20 years. And so that's fun, right? But here's another area of my life that's different, connected, but different is my personal life and my relationship with my wife, Jessica. 
We have a kid on the way. So I have to learn a lot of new things. I have to learn how to take even more responsibility, right? It's summertime here. We have our animals outside. We got our garden. Um, we got just a lot of stuff going on with our neighbors and our community. I'm learning how to manage and really get the best out of that. And at the same time, really building my relationship with Jessica. Because if I don't, if I don't have that as one of my priorities, like it's going to fall apart. You know, I, I'm not going to let it fall apart. But you have to keep learning how to do that and be even more effective in terms of really being present for the people around you, especially your significant other. Okay, so I'm learning that, right? I want you to post in the comments, what are you learning? What have you been learning? And what is your next phase of learning? Okay, now there's a few other things that I've seen have been very, very helpful in terms of being a lifelong learner. One is getting around the right people in person. What we saw with the pandemic and all that stuff is the push to stay home and stay safe. Just meet on Zoom. Give us two years and they'll be like, just meet in the metaverse. It's more fun anyway. You can make your avatar look like whatever you want. Guess what? I'm still gonna prefer meeting in person. There's so much that happens in person. You have something in your brain called mirror neurons, right? When you're, when you're around other people, you actually download patterns from them. You giving a hug to another person, you have all different hormones released in your brain. I mean, there's so many things. You have your microbiome. If you don't know what a microbiome is, you don't know uh, that diversity, the biodiversity within you as a person, you've been exposed to new things, exposed to new germs, right? Or germ theory, right? Whatever you take is on that. But you've been exposed to new environmental stressors, right? You just getting in your car, going in traffic and going downtown and parking and then going to a meeting and stuff. It's like there's an investment in that. And when you're able to do that, instead of just sit at home with no shirt on and your shorts and you're just on your TV in the metaverse or on your computer, like your starting point's different. Your thoughts are different. Your feelings are different. How you show up, who you act as, and, and which, one, which one's going to be more effective in the world, okay? It's going to be the person who can go do shit in the real world. And at the same time, if you want to use the metaverse here and there for practical things, cool. I'm down. Like I did VR uh, like twice with um, Jess's brother. And it's like, it was fun for a little while, but I still like real reality, right? And my real reality is going to be amazing. And I encourage you to do the same, but you only do that through lifelong learning. Okay. So a few other things that I've been doing recently that have been epic. One, using TechnoTutor, putting questions through it. I'm um, going through a lot of the Dan Sullivan stuff, the book, Who Not How, putting that stuff through TechnoTutor, amazing. Really amazing what's possible with that. Highly suggest. I've also been going to the library. So I, I'm always writing all the books that everyone suggests to me. It's like two, three a week that I get suggested to me. Then I'll go to our local library and it's pretty good here in Minneapolis area. It's like I can find pretty much any book I want and I'll order like 30 at a time and then I'll see which ones are the best and I'll like read through them. And then the best of the best, those are the ones I buy off Amazon. Because I'm not trying to just go buy 30 books of, on Amazon like every two months. It's like our library and our house is big, but it ain't ready for that yet. So I've been doing that too, which is a pretty cool, practical way of continuing to learn. Um, and then also just balancing my, my learning time and being very clear when I am in learning mode versus in execution mode. Um, I make sure I switch back and forth between them basically all day, every day. And so, you know, I, I mean, I use, I use YouTube in a very specific way. Um, I get YouTube premium because I can't stand the ads. And then what I do is I use the watch later playlist. And then I'm continuously adding stuff to watch later of all different kinds of things. Anywhere from interview with Elon Musk to um, uh, learning about biology, learning about computers, learning about sales, learning about all sorts of things, how to build a team. You know, and then I'll learn random stuff. I'll watch some Joe Rogan with some guests talking about how he went exploring in the Amazon. Because it's, it's fun to learn about all that stuff and then you tie it together. When you're programmed for success, you can find success patterns in everything. So that's what I've really been cultivating myself. And as a lifelong learner, it's, it's amazing because it is, it is very true. The more you learn, the more you earn, if you apply it, if you apply it, okay? And that's the ultimate measure of if you're really learning because are you changing? Is your bank account changing? Is your relationship changing for the better? Are you able to, to get a nicer home or a nicer place to live? Do you enjoy the vehicle that you drive? Do you enjoy your, your peer group, your network, all that stuff, okay? That's a real testament of a lifelong learner. And how long are you going to live, right? This is my final question I want to live leave with you, is how long are you going to live? There's something called um, escape velocity within the longevity field, uh, which is a fancy term for science is able to start adding years to, to our life 
based on the advances, like with stem cells and CRISPR and all these different things. Science is going to get to a point soon because of exponential technology where we can start to live longer. So you basically just need to live for the next like 12 years and not screw it up. And then we'll hit a point where you're going to be able to live very, very long. Like there's many entrepreneurs out there looking at making 100, the new 60, but you're like aging to 100 very well. Okay. A lot of people out there that I listen to and I like talking to, talking more living like till 120, 150, 180, even beyond that. Right now, to date, 122 is the longest known documented person that lived. With technology, we're going to be able to do a lot more than that. And so, right, take good care of yourself, be a good lifelong learner, and then ask yourself, how long are you going to live? Right. And, and if, if you are like, oh, I'd be content just living till 80 and, you know, whatever happens, happens. It's like you don't have a big enough purpose. You know, if you get taken out or whatever, like something happens to you, you know, when you're 80. OK, right. Live each day to the fullest and don't grip onto your life out of fear of survival. Yet at the same time, imagine your brain, your connections, your network, all the cool stuff you've built, all of that for a lifetime that's even longer than what is currently um, out there. Pretty cool stuff when you really think about it. So if you like that stuff too, just hit me in the comments. Hit me with the DM of longevity, right? And, and uh, type the word longevity, send it to me. And then let me know, like, I love talking about the futuristic stuff too. I'm um, exponential technology. I don't get too trapped in the weeds because a lot of it is still speculation. But there's a lot of really cool stuff out there and I'm happy to send you more resources if you're interested in that. And then, yeah, leave some comments. Let me know about lifelong learning, what it means to you. If you like this kind of stuff, you will like my other uh, videos on this channel. Like I'm very into like reading current events, staying on the cutting edge and then using all that to make a bunch of money, have awesome life, has a, have awesome family, awesome friends, awesome community. So then we can take all that and make the world a place that's literally the best setup that we could have, the best, most optimal setup so that everybody on the planet has the opportunity to thrive. And then it's still on each person to make that decision for themselves, right? You can't force someone to thrive, right? How funny does that sound? But we can set it up so that everyone's got their basic needs met and then we can all really start playing at a higher level. Okay, so that's everything I talk about um, in like all my videos. So cool. If you like it, subscribe, share, and I look forward to uh, connecting. All right, see you.